My first ever experience with Fire Emblem happened in the summer after fourth grade. A bunch of my friends and I were talking about summer camp, which we were all going to in a couple weeks, when one of them announced that he was going to be bringing his Game Boy Advance. Needless to say, since we weren't allowed electronics at the summer camp, we were all pretty excited. Eventually, we get to summer camp, and we confirm that my friend did indeed bring his Game Boy Advance. We then spent the next three days plotting our meticulous plan to play it inside the cabin. We put one of our friends to watch the window in case one of the counselors came knocking, and the rest of us huddled around my friend on his bunk as he opened up a Ziploc bag full of GBA cartridges. We scanned through them. There was Pokemon, Mario Kart, Minish Cap, and a little game called Fire Emblem. This one caught my eye, and I said to my friend, Hey, let's play that one. He said, okay, and put it into his Game Boy Advance and handed it to me. We watched the title cinematic go, explaining the dragons of Alib and whatnot, and we were met with the screen where we could name our character. I named my character after myself, naturally, and the dialogue prompt popped up, followed by a CGI of Lin standing over the tactician in bed. I was dumbfounded. I hadn't seen a character or a presentation in this game like it any time before, and the first words out of my mouth as I first laid eyes on this beautiful CG art was, wow, she's pretty. Then my friends naturally all burst into laughter. Jokes about me finding Lin hot would come between me and my friends for many years afterwards, all the way up until we all got back into Fire Emblem with Awakening. A year later, when I finally got around to playing Fire Emblem 7 on the Wii U eShop, and I heard Lin say, Are you awake? I knew, in that moment, I love Fire Emblem. My fondest memory with Fire Emblem is when I first played my first Fire Emblem game, which was Path of Radiance when I was 9 or 10 years old. My dad had bought it for him and I to play because we enjoyed this little known game on the Sega Genesis called Shining Force, which has pretty similar mechanics to Fire Emblem. So on a Friday after school one day, I finally tried Path of Radiance and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the characters. I was so into the story. I was engaged. It was it was fantastic. It was a phenomenal experience. And whenever I think of Path of Radiance, I think of this night. This night that I went through eight chapters of this game and how I fell in love with Fire Emblem that one night. That was the moment where I just connected with Fire Emblem and I just knew this is going to be a game that I will love forever. And I still love Path of Radiance with all my heart. And I will say Path of Radiance is my favorite Fire Emblem game. Sure, there's probably nostalgia tied to it, but I think even without nostalgia, I think it's the best one. And I'm glad that it was the first one that I got to experience because it really got me into the Fire Emblem series, which I love and adore. One of my greatest Fire Emblem memories is without a doubt the entire endgame of Radiant Dawn. Reaching the climax of a story spanning two huge games felt like an astronomical feat, and everything that went down the second I entered the tower was pure bliss. Being able to exact justice upon the Senators of Benion, Ike's final duel with the Black Knight, taking on the King of Dragons, the reveal of the Mastermind behind everything, experiencing all of Loran's memories, battling a literal god and ending with the radiant hero, restoring faith to a being of pure chaos. This final act of one of the most epic Fire Emblem games stands as my favourite finale in the franchise. Everything that transpired in this tower was just perfect, and having units that have been by my side since the beginning of Path of Radiance and never once let me down right to the end, I felt like I had made a genuine connection to these people, and a lot of them have become my favourite Fire Emblem characters that I hold so close to my heart. To me, this is what Fire Emblem is all about fighting against impossible odds with those I believe in by my side, bidding farewell and bringing closure to all those who stood in my way, finding out the truth of everything that's happened, and finally being able to reach that middle ground between order and chaos for the sake of a better world, which I can only describe as the essence of Fire Emblem.
A moment that really sticks out for me in terms of Fire Emblem memories is pretty obscure. Back in grade 9, me and a buddy shared a math class in the morning, and on this particular morning our teacher was extremely late. So we were just sitting around with nothing to do, and with not much better to pass the time, we started playing Fire Emblem Awakening on our 3DS's while we waited. And just for the sake of it, we went into Double Duel, the multiplayer mode from uh, that game. We tried the first couple challenges, but we were really overleveled, so on a whim we went on the hardest one just to give it a shot. And the craziness that ensued was just ridiculous. We were not even close to being prepared to take on this level, but the RNG god seemed to be shining upon us, as not only were the enemies whiffing their attacks, but we were getting some of the stupid skill triggers I've ever witnessed in my life. We were making such a commotion, freaking out and screaming, that the girl who sat in front of us came to see what the fuss was about. Now, I had been crushing on this girl since school started, so this added another layer of craziness to the situation. Together, we all ended up celebrating as me and my pal beat the level on some more ridiculous RNG, and I may not remember the exact details and the order of events I probably muddled up. In fact, maybe in nostalgia I've made it larger in my head than it was. But just thinking about the three of us smiling and getting excited without a care in the world makes me grin every single time. And no, I didn't get the girl. In the end, when thinking about my fondest Fire Emblem memory, and considering what kind of channel I run, it definitely has to be the announcement of Fire Emblem's very own TCG, Fire Emblem Cipher. I recall the overwhelming hype I felt trying to translate the rules with friends of mine as well as the very first few cards that they had revealed. The hype was overflowing so much that I just had to jot down as much as possible and create a quick rules video before the game was even released since I wanted to share the amazingness of the game with as many people as possible. By now that video may be outdated since I made a proper tutorial of the game, but the hype felt during those first few weeks was incredibly memorable and one of the fondest memories of the franchise for me personally. For me, the most important memory I have in relation to Fire Emblem is the lead up to Fire Emblem Fates. Regardless of how good it actually ended up being, this was the first time I was following the series closely and it's among the most enthused I've ever been for the release of a game. But for me, it was always more than just waiting in anticipation for the next game in a franchise I'd recently fallen in love with. It wasn't just analyzing trailers and speculating about who the best girl would end up being, it served as a carrot on a stick that kept me going in real life. I won't get too much into the details here, but the end of 2015 and early 2016 are genuinely some of the darkest points I've had in my life. I've always been a little bit on the depressive side, but I was at the absolute lowest I've ever been at this point in time. I was even seeking professional help, but talk therapy didn't do me much good because I was too wrapped up in my own problems and pushing blame outwards on the rest of the world. The only effective way I had with coping was to turn to video games and anime and distract myself from the darker, angstier thoughts in my head. Fire Emblem Fates was my proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. I kept telling myself if I can get to the release of Fates I can get through this. Two more months, one more month, one more week, one more day. For me, in spite of all its problems, I hold Fates very close to my heart because it helped me hold on just a little bit longer in a time where I really needed it most. I want to thank every single person who contributed a memory to this collection. Without them giving the time up in their days to share happy memories or in some cases very painful ones, this video does not exist and for that I am, I am so, so grateful. And I hope not only that you enjoyed listening to all of these stories and all of these tales and experiences but in the end that at least one you took something away from and uh i think <laughs> i think that'll be all for today thank you so much for watching